What's up guys, and ladies, how you doing? Alright, so the number one question right now in the community is whether or not Advanced Warfare has a new engine. Like a brand new one, built from scratch, which Call of Duty has actually never done. And I know, they already said it was a new engine, but <laughs> to be honest, calling anything nowadays a new engine is a little bit vague. You guys remember last year, after Ghost was announced, they said that was a new engine too? Well, technically speaking, it kinda was, but not really. All they pretty much do year after year is grab a previous version of the engine, strip it down, and build on top of it to improve it. So it's kind of like a new engine, because it's definitely different than the last one, but it's not really a brand new engine built from scratch, you know what I mean? It's just a heavily modified version of a previous version. So as of right now, we haven't really gotten a definitive answer on whether Advanced Warfare is going to be built on a new engine, or if it's just going to be a heavily modified version. All we do know is that it is going to be developed for the next-gen consoles, compared to Ghost, which of course was cross-gen. And what that means is that whatever engine they do use can be so much more intense than what we're used to. Since these next-gen consoles have so much more memory compared to the previous gen, they have so much more freedom to be creative. They can add more content in their games, like have more weapons, more intense map designs, have more players in the match, increased graphics quality, which is always a great thing to have, and just like we saw from the trailer, now they're able to add new game mechanics like super jumping and all that other stuff. The older games just couldn't do stuff like that, unless they sacrificed memory allocation from different areas, like frames per second. Which of course we all know, they'd never do that. <laughs> 60 frames per second is like the minimum any game should ever have. And in all the previous versions of Call of Duty, they always did as much as they could, as long as they can keep that constant 60 frames per second. But anyways, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here. I guess the point that I'm trying to make here is that whether it's new engine or not, it's going to be so different either way. I don't think it really matters. It could be a brand new engine or it can be an improved older version. And in either case, I don't think anyone's really going to be able to tell. Like, if you look back at the previous Call of Duties, they're all pretty obviously the same engine. But that's mainly because of their limit on their memory and what they can stack on top to improve it and build upon that previous version. They really didn't have much room to do the things that they wanted to do. Like I said, they had to keep that 60 frames per second. But for some reason, the majority of our community, we all want a brand new engine for some reason. And I really don't know why. I, <laughs> I think it might be the focus on the word new. And of course, things that are new, they're usually better, right? They think, well, why would I want a 10-year-old engine when I can have a brand new one? Well, I think that's the first misconception that we have about these engines. If you were to actually take a look at that old engine from 10 years ago, and compare it to the current version that Ghost used right now, yeah, it's totally different. Like, nobody in their right mind would compare them on the same scale. It's just been so heavily modified year after year. Just heavily modified and heavily modified again. And it's just been definitely improved upon since then. Like, if you really want to think about it like a computer... Think about Windows. Every couple of years, a new version of Windows comes out, and it's basically just a heavily modified version of the last, right? They all have the same basic core principles behind them, but every single version is just so different than the last. Well, this is kind of like the same thing, except this year, for us in Call of Duty, we just got a lot better hardware to work with with this version, meaning it's going to be a huge upgrade compared to the previous versions. And when I say huge upgrade, I really mean it's astronomical. These next-gen systems have like 8 gigs of RAM. That's 16 times as much as the previous generation, which only had half a gig. Yeah, only half a gig, and that was split between system and graphics. If any of you know anything about computer hardware, you're probably sitting there wondering how they even did the things that they did with so little. But yeah, to wrap this all up, I just want to say, I really don't care if it's a brand new engine or not. It's going to be such an upgrade. Either way, it's going to just feel like a brand new engine anyway. In fact, in the back of my head, I really kind of hope that they don't start from scratch. At least not this year. There's no reason to throw away the foundation that's been obviously working. And I think starting from scratch might be too much of a risk, kind of. But hey, that's just my opinion. You can let me know what you think in the comments. Well guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I really appreciate it if you can leave a rating. It really means a lot to me. See you next time. Peace.